All right, so UPS just left right now and dropped off a package. So let's go ahead and see what it is that we're getting today for the Veloster. Just as I thought, it is not one, but two rolls of TinyBot vinyl. So if you haven't checked them out, you have to go ahead and look at them. They got some sick, sick colors and styles that they have. Everything from gloss to metallic, flip, everything in between. They have tons of different styles you can choose from. And it material from what I hear is awesome. Now there's gonna be some people that will have their preferences because this type of vinyl is what they call a calendar vinyl. So it has to be worked and laid and put on a little differently than you cast vinyl, uh, which is what other types like Avery or 3M. And I even think they still have some calendar stuff as well. But the color, we will go ahead and show you once we start wrapping the car. So let's get these things inside and let's actually call our guy, let him know the vinyls here so we can drop the car off. So why did we get two rolls of Tiny Bob vinyl? Well, as you guys know, the car is going under a huge transformation. It just came back from getting the Audra wide body kit put on. So one roll wouldn't cut it. You need to go ahead and get extra material so that way you have enough for the entire wide body that you're gonna wrap. And then we also are gonna wrap a couple other things in this same material to make sure everything matches. If you wanna find out what it is, you gotta keep watching this video. So. I'm gonna give a call to Chris Lucas. He is the guy that is going to wrap this car and he's going to be doing it over at Houdini Wraps. So the next clip y'all are gonna see is me taking the car over there. What's up everybody? So this is the last video before the car's actually at SEMA. So let me tell you guys what's about to go down and show you where we're doing so as you know from the last video we got new wheels we got the audro wide body kit installed on the car by indie paints and now we're actually going to get the car re-wrapped so it was the purple black iridescent from kpmf and now we're gonna go with a different color. So I won't tell you exactly what color we're going with yet until we start getting it installed. But we are dropping the car off over at Houdini Wraps and the only person that I trust to take care of my car is Chris Lucas. Yeah, he, guess what? I'm also saying that your fitment's weak as shit. <laughs> so he's going to help me out on the fitment part to make sure that we dial this in exactly where it needs to go. For the Veloster, so I got to continue that. So if you guys don't know who Chris Lucas is, he's based out here in Vegas. I'll go ahead and put a picture of his first gen Veloster, one of the sickest things that I've ever seen. And honestly, kind of an inspiration for my car. So we can take it as a... Um, homage to his car if you will so gonna show you the material that we're using but not the color and then we will go through the install process now this is the material we're gonna be using huge shout out to tiny bot vinyl for working with me on this SEMA project you guys will see the color you guys will see the quality of the material and how it looks so it's gonna be amazing we have a couple other goodies we're putting on there just yeah. to make sure that this thing looks dialed in. But next thing you guys will see is this car actually torn apart and starting the process. What's up? So it is now the second day. I dropped off the car yesterday. You guys saw that. I'm on my way 
back to the shop, back to Udini, back to going over there where, where Chris is working on the car. And the reason why is because I need to get those tires that are back there put on to the wheels. So I know that I have uh, wheels on the car and the crazy thing is that after I got those uh, tires for the new wheels, I was uh, presented an opportunity and huge shout out to Delante Tires. They said, we're gonna go ahead and take care of you. We love what you're doing, we love the build, and we want you to have our products on your car for SEMA. So that's what we're doing. We're getting down to the wire when it comes to this. We, I'm driving and everything, but we still have to get the wrap done. We still have to put on the new front lip and side, uh, not side skirts, but diffuser. And then we have to get the car back home. After we get the car back home, have to get the car over to the alignment shop because I went from UAS suspension over to yellow speed. And let me tell you what a difference. What a difference it is from the UAS, universal air suspension, to the yellow speed suspension. Uh, yellow speed comes with a double bellow bag and it just, it rides like a dream. I had a couple of issues with the UAS setup and the only reason I did is because I think I may have been the only one, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, I may have been the only one running 18s on Universal Air setup. So the strut was a little bit too long and what ended up happening was because I was so low when I would air out or sometimes I would I would run uh, and drive on the lower side on a low preset is that I would have the bottom of the strut actually rub up against the axle boots. And I say axle boots because I think I have gone through at least four axles with that. Now, I know that there's axle rebuild kits out there that Hyundai also sells uh, the boot repair kit. I just didn't have anybody that I can go to or had the knowledge to want to try that myself. So I didn't. Uh, so I bought the passenger side twice, the driver side twice, and then on my way to Utah, if you guys remember from the past video, the axle boot ripped again. Uh, so this time, luckily now I have a place that I can take the uh, axle to, and I have the other two that were replacements and I can get that boot rebuilt. Because the axle's completely fine, it's just the boot that ripped and grease everywhere. So, we're just pulling up to the shop. I don't think I'm gonna record grabbing the wheels because I'm just gonna grab them and go uh, to make sure that I can get to Paulo uh, and get to him pretty quick and get him to flip the, you know, from one tire to the other and bring them back. So, I'll hit you guys up in a bit. All right, so if you can tell by the mess, yes, I do have the wheels in here now. Uh, so got the wheels with the old tires, I got the new tires. There's a lot of rubber in here. So right now, I'm gonna shoot over to Paulo, get these new Delante tires. They're the Delante DS8. They're really, really badass tires. And I think that they're gonna do great with the build, performing when putting the power to the ground, so I can't wait, it's gonna be awesome. Um, after that, gotta come back and see what they look like, see what we're gonna end up doing because it looks like we might be changing the setup just a little bit to make, the, to make this thing look just a little extra spicy. All right guys, so I told you that I'd be back while this thing was a work in progress. So Chris over here has been going to town on this thing. He has been working late, coming in early, just to get this car done. 
So one thing that I love about getting my car wrapped and a couple other people that come and get their cars wrapped with Chris, not only does he do quality work, but he also will go ahead and make sure that the entire car is going to be set up by the time you leave the shop. So what I mean by that is, as you can tell, this is what the stock body looks like after you do the Audra wide body. You know, you cut everything, you know, front fender's gone. Now, the biggest contribution Here. that well, came- before, before you show this side, do you want me to put, mock up your, uh, mock up this side a little bit, just, to, uh, just for them to see your, your weak fitment that you had before? Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. So while he does that, I'm gonna go to the back of the car and just kind of tell you what's involved with wrapping this car. So there are some shops, there are some installers that will wrap your car without taking panels off. And so hold on, hold on here, Walter, before, before you get into that, cause so you don't need to t like disassemble the whole car. For me, it's definitely a big po like positive. Um, not every car needs to be disassembled. Actually, the least amount that you can disassemble is actually the better wrap. Uh, but because this is such an important car, it's gonna be in SEMA, it's, to be honest, that it's the contrast for me. The fact that it's red going purple, that's the biggest yeah. thing. Yeah, so definitely, like he mentioned, you know, it's one of those things where right now, at least for this car, and it's been the case the both times that he's wrapped it, it's been going from a bright red, a racing red, to a completely different color. Now, if this was a white car, if it was a black car, there's a little bit of a different rule when it comes to it because those two colors tend to be easier hide. to hide. A lot more. Yeah, it's easier to hide. It's easier to be like, oh, okay, cool. You know, it's just the inside of the car. But as you can see, everything from the bumper, taillights, just everything has been taken off of this car. So while he's doing that, just from this here, you can see the gap that is Yo, on the rear. Fit me. So with the Adro wide body, I believe that it adds about 50 millimeters on each side. So I think something around two inches, right around two inches. So the wheel setup that I got was 19 by nine and a half plus 22. Now that's it's kind like of stock body fitment. Yeah, it's like a stock G35 350Z fitment. And from all the research I did and from people that I talked to, that's kind of where everybody was at. So I brought the car over here. Yeah, and everybody kind of got weak fitment in the Veloster game again. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, not sorry. So I came over here, Chris saw the car, he's like, no, that that's you cannot run the car like that. Uh, so he said, I'm gonna make sure that you're taken care of. I'm gonna make sure that it's done right, that it's dialed in. So as soon as he's done here, I'll show you what he means. All right, so he went ahead and put the fenders, kind of mocked them back up, right? So you saw the rear and you can see it from here. It's kind of sunken in, right? And in the front, the same. Now, I'm gonna show you two things at once. One, is going to be what he's already wrapped. And two is how he has my fitment after what he had me do. So here's the color. It's freaking amazing. The camera does not do it justice. The way that the, the purple and, and goes dark, it, it's this midnight purple from TinyBot is amazing. Now, one thing that Chris did tell me is that he has actually enjoyed the process. It was better than the KPMF material I had before when it comes to the installation on it. So he was pleasantly surprised by that and honestly is a happy camper based on kind of what the world says about this material. I'm not happy with the adhesive that you left me. So yeah, so when I unwrapped the car, I did everything that I could, and you guys saw that. If you didn't, then watch that video. You left, you said, I want Chris to suffer. <laughs> I didn't want Chris to suffer. I, again, I'm not a professional. I don't know 
what does what. And when I took it off and it was in the sun, I thought that I had done a pretty damn good job. Now, yes, the material came off, but there was still adhesive left. So he had to actually clean the entire car to get all that off. Two hours later. <laughs> so now that he has this color on here, and as you can see, he's already started on the wide body kit. Look at this fitment. <laughs> like, holy shit. You look at this and the only reason there's any gap right here in the rear is because I need to fix the camber because we just put this car on yellow speed suspension. So that means that once the camber is dialed in, this thing is gonna be just perfect. Coming over to the front. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Look at this. Now we still have to get an alignment, get an alignment fix the toe and get the camber dialed in. What he's also gonna do is bring me down just enough to where the only limitation that is going to stop me from keeping it lower than it is, is the tire. Well, here, well, so let me let me properly explain. So All right. if you, so here, if you can get like a good like side profile, um, you could probably see like the gap and I'm actually gonna properly measure with like my calipers. I'm gonna measure this gap. So that way, when you hit zero on your, when you air out, I don't like whether it's gonna hit your frame rail or it's gonna air out completely where like it's fender to lip. That's kind of where I want you to be at. Um, I'm not gonna just drop it without measuring. I'm actually gonna try to get you just enough. Like that way you still have the proper uh, PSI in your bag. So that way when you're driving, you're not like, I don't want you to air out and have like 10 PSI left in your bags. Perfect. That's the main idea. I want you to be able to still air out and still have good ride quality and everything like that. And so actually now that I've noticed, I've realized, so in the videos that I've been recording for you, um, you can actually see where I actually still need to trim. And so that's just by design, I didn't trim all the way just yet because I still wanted to make sure that I knew where I was gonna mount everything up. So I'm gonna be mounting, I'm, I'm moving the mounting point. Well, the, the, port, uh, the point where the holes lined up uh, originally from Adro when they installed it to bolt the, the fender flares together. So I'm actually gonna move that more inward so that way you have more clearance. That way when you drive, you can technically almost drive almost aired out. Wow. Yeah. So this is the kind of stuff that you're not gonna get just going to any regular shop, right? You're not gonna get by just taking your car to, you know, XX wrapping or what have you. And they're gonna take your car they're gonna do their thing. They're gonna give back to you and now, you're done. Obviously, if you're gonna ask me to do something, ask me that way I'm not, cause not, this isn't just for every customer, but. Right, this, this is something that we've built a relationship to be able to freely talk and figure out how to do this. Now, of course, if you go ahead and hit Chris up on a DM and say, hey, can you make my car look badass? Anybody can make your car look badass, but it's not gonna be free, right? I mean, these people don't get the talent that they get and the experience that they get by doing things for free. You know, so <laughs> honestly, looking at this yeah, right I'm now, <laughs> right now, you look at that and damn, what a difference. So compared. you still want to pull a tiny bit of camber out because um, the fitment I'm trying to go for him for him, well, that I'm trying to get Walter to have is a more fender to lip fitment. I want when he airs out, I want this tire to just slip right on over. Like I want the fender to just slide right on over the tire. He just wants it to. Yeah. That's pretty much what he wants. So we're gonna get back to it. I'm gonna help him out with whatever I can. Of course, I'm not gonna do any of the wrapping cause I don't know what the heck I'm doing there. <laughs> but anything that I can take off, put on, any of that stuff I'll do. So I'll catch you guys in a little bit. So we are actually back in my garage right now. And the reason why is because the time crunch was real. We did not have time to film the rest of this, essentially this wrap job, the install, everything else. So I have the car here and it is done. So as you can see, it has the Midnight Purple by Tiny Bot installed 100%, wide body is on, wheels and tires are on, and I'm gonna show you what this looks like when it's airing out.
So that is how it sits now. Let me show you what Chris did. So if you notice now, come down here and fitment is just on point. As you can see, the wheel is right there at the edge. I can technically go just that much more, but not gonna do that. Now in the front, if you guys saw from a couple moments ago, this completely changed. Look at that right there. Holy cow. That is sick. So now I am literally touching the lip on this thing and I could not be any happier with the way that this turned out. So you can see the gloss is freaking awesome and never will the camera do this any justice. If you guys see this car at SEMA, make sure you tag me, make sure you share it. And if you take any pictures, send them to me, DM them to me, uh, email them to me, and I will make sure to shout you out and post it on my IG. So I promise that anybody that does that during SEMA, I will get that done for you guys. So tell me, what do you guys think? What do you guys think of the color? What do you guys think of the wide body, the wheels, the entire package? This car goes to SEMA really, really soon. And that's why this entire place is a mess. But let me know what you guys think. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.